Hey everyone, in today's Instagram video, I wanna show you something really exciting and that's to add your custom thumbnail to your Instagram posts. So if you post a video, for example, on your Instagram, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you an option to choose a thumbnail from the video, but that's not quite the custom thumbnail that you're looking for. So you gotta do a little bit of an edit trick and I'll show you how to do it totally for free to get that custom thumbnail inside your video. So let me show you the typical way. You press plus sign here on your profile, choose the video that you want to add. So this is an Instagram tutorial I'm gonna add. I'm gonna press next on top and here on the video, on the very bottom, if I go to cover, I could basically just grab my finger and scrub through the video here and choose one of the frames to be the thumbnail. That is not what I wanted to show you because that is not really the custom thumbnail. Even though this thumbnail right here might actually work because it's something I edited inside the video, the rest of it is pretty boring and even this one is not quite what I'm looking for. So how do I add a custom thumbnail here? Let me show you that. We want to go to the App Store and we want to download a video editor. And there's a whole bunch of them that are completely free to use. And the one I like the most is Filmmaker Pro Video. I actually use Adobe Premiere and there's a mobile version for that too, but those are paid options. So I'm not gonna focus on it. They do make this a lot easier, but since this is gonna be a free solution, I wanna show you this one. So go ahead and download Filmmaker Pro Video Editor right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you this quick trick. It's gonna basically create this quick project file and where it says start here, you wanna start there. You're gonna press plus and you're gonna import your video. The video you're gonna post, you're gonna import it. So I chose video and you could choose it from file or photos. Photos will give it access to my photos and videos. I'm gonna press check mark. Now I have the video here, but again, my custom thumbnail is not yet here. Let me show you how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go all the way till the very end of the video here. And since the Instagram feed could only have 60 second videos, I intentionally made this video 59 seconds. If yours is longer, just trim it to be just less than one minute, 59 seconds or so. And you could just do that right here inside of this app. You could simply just click on the video here and it says trim. And you could go ahead and trim the size and press the check mark. I already had this video at 59 seconds. So now what I wanna do is I wanna add my custom thumbnail to the very end for as short as I can. So I'm gonna press plus again. I'm gonna use photos this time because that's my custom thumbnail, just one frame. And I'm gonna reduce the seconds here to be as low as possible, which in this case is half a second. So when I use Premiere, for example, I could just make this one frame so it never even really shows up even at the very end. But I'm gonna press check mark here and I'm gonna choose my custom thumbnail here. And this is my custom thumbnail for almost no time at all, for less than half a second at the end of the video. Pretty much no one is gonna get to it. And if they do, it's no big deal. It's actually a nice way to finish up the video. So now that I've done that, I have my video and the custom thumbnail at the end here. I just simply wanna press the upload option and I'm gonna go ahead and export it. So 1080p, that's what I want since I shot it in 1080p. 30 frames is good. I'm gonna press check mark here and it's gonna save it right here to my photo library. So let me go ahead and save to photos. That's the option right there to put it on my camera phone. So back to the Instagram app here. Let me go ahead and launch that. And here on the homepage, I'm gonna press the plus sign to add a photo or video and I'm gonna add this video, I'm gonna shrink it down to size. And if you don't like that watermark, you could either buy Filmmaker Pro, find another app, or just go ahead and make the size a little bigger and crop it out, so you could just do that. So now if I press next here, that watermark is cropped out if I didn't want it there. In this case, I do want the full screen, so I'm gonna shrink it down. I don't mind the watermark, so I'm gonna press next. And on the very bottom, if I go to cover, now, if I go all the way to the very last frame, you see how there's a bunch of different frames to choose from, but the very last one, if I just slide all the way to the right, is my custom thumbnail. So now if I press next, you see right on my post, it has my custom thumbnail. So just for a test, if I just go ahead and share this right now, and if I go to my homepage here and refresh, you could see that video has a custom thumbnail. So if I press it, it just starts playing, but it starts with that custom thumbnail on my feed, which is 
very, very useful. Now, if you're creating the video from scratch, you should make it one by one and not 16 by nine so it doesn't get cropped like it did here. One by one videos do a lot better on Instagram than 16 by nine videos because they do take up more real estate. And if you know how to use iMovie or Adobe Premiere like I do, you don't have to use Filmmaker Pro and you don't have to buy it to get rid of this watermark. So if that does bother you, just learn iMovie or Adobe Premiere Pro, the mobile version or the desktop version, so you don't have to worry about watermarks, for example. But until Instagram does roll out native custom thumbnails like the ones you see on YouTube, this is the trick around that. I hope you found this useful. Please make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss the next Instagram update and the next Instagram tips and tricks, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.